Hello everybody, Fixer here. Today I have for you a new game called Academia School Simulator. So this is self-published by Squeaky Wheel Studio, which brought you Political Animals. It comes out on Steam Early Access today. Uh, a PR company representing the dev did provide me with a review copy for this video. And you'll recognize the art style just a little bit, right? Just a little bit? The um, art director for Prison Architect is also working on this game. And you'll notice the walls, the tables, the chairs. A lot of these are very similar. The hands. The people, of course, are more, more square, I guess, this time around. But the hands. They got the round hands without the arms. Anyways, um, a lot about this game is very similar to Prison Architect. An awful lot, in fact. Uh, you got different kinds of classrooms, just like you could have different types of cells. You have different um, things like clubs in the library just like you do in Prison Architect. Uh, you have different level of students from freshman, sophomore, and senior just like Prison Architect. In fact, I'm a little worried about how this game is going to try to differentiate itself from Prison Architect. I've already played a little bit and you'll notice there's no music going on because the word is um, YouTube content ID is, is hitting up people's videos on this game so I'm playing with it off. Um, unless you, unless I put some uh, music in there and, and editing, but anyways, um, I'm a little worried about how this game is going to differentiate itself from Prison Architect. Um, I'm going to show you guys a little bit here. There's not a, it's pretty raw. There's not a lot of content here yet. Uh, I'm going to get probably two, maybe three videos out of it. I don't know. All right, high school is strange lands. And what is our motto, guys? We fix broken kids. Oh, wait, what? Why did it? Why did the screen go like that? That's really weird. Anyways, we fix broken kids. Um, we got different colors here. Let's go with orange and blue. That doesn't look blue to me. What? I think the colors are messed up. Very strange. Uh, unless they've changed it, it's very possible they just changed the way this works. But before I, I could change, you know, this looks like you get a, a white and a brown color. See, it looks like this is always white now. Huh. Okay, we'll go with, like, orange, orange. And you can change each one of these. I, I don't know what the difference is other than it's just a cute thing to change around. Who knows? It was snake. Um, by the way, that's not a raven. An atom? Sure, let's go with an atom. And pie? I don't want pie. What else do we got here? Not keys. What was that? A badger? No. A griffin? I like a griffin. Alright, there's my, my raven. Fine, this looks fantastic. Strange lands. Let's start our school. And... Pause, and let's go over this interface real quick. So we've got a plot of land and a road, just like Prison Architect. We've got a delivery section, a garbage section, and we have our, our workers' quarters. And let's take a look at our workers. How do I... Oh, there we go. Marjorie, uh, Boyack, you know, they all got names, just like Prison Architect. We have build options here, different types of walls, doors, floors, and um, various trees and bushes and whatnot. Objects, just like a prison architect. These are things that you can place inside the rooms. Um, this is like your pre-layout. You can make like a blueprint of, of your school before you actually build it. This is our zoning. Again, just like prison architect, you had to zone out your cells. You had to zone out staff areas. Same thing here. We have clubs, computer labs, delivery areas. There's the actual classrooms there. We got staff, nurses, janitors, cooks, workers, and teachers. Transfer, these are the actual students themselves. Freshman, sophomore, junior, senior. There you go. Simple as that. Up here, we got our staff, our workers, our prisoners. That's our cash on hand. This is how much uh, we're bringing in daily, I think it is. I think it's daily. Year zero, quarter one, day one, time. It's homeroom time. We don't have any students. And we got a to-do list here. Uh, we also have grants. Just like a prison architect where it tries to encourage you to expand your prison. And it kind of, I don't want to say holds you by your hand, because Prison Architect doesn't really hold you by the hand all that much. But it does kind of point you in the right direction a little bit. 
when you want to expand into into things like um, having a, a library or a medical area, things like that. This game does the same thing with grants. Um, I think... Can I... There you go. You can click on it. Every school starts from the basics. Build a basic school complex and assign a teacher to the classroom using zone edit and the zones menu. There you go. And these are the requirements. We need to have all these things in order to get this um, grant. But we're not there yet. We're on the to-do list so far. Um, it, it's, it works just like Prison Architect. You got yourself a walkway here. Bam. Concrete tiles. Now, let's hit play so my guys can get to work on that. And let's go a little bit further, in fact. There we go. Perfect. Um, let's just start with a nice big block here. Fantastic. Concrete walls, brick, orange. We'll go with, with just a nice brick wall. Now, the difference so far between this and Prison Architect. Prison Architect's pretty anal about having closed areas, right? Um, this game, not yet, anyways. Not so much. All right, so I have a hallway coming in here. I'm gonna probably do something like that. What do we got here? One, two, three, four, five. Perfect, we'll do something like this. This will be like our, our main area. We'll have a wall coming out this way, wall coming out that way. How big do I want that hallway? Two is probably good enough. Let's do this. Perfect. Get to work, guys. It's taking them forever. All right, we're gonna have some tiles going up this way. Let's uh, probably start with a, a canteen or something, right? And how big do classes need to be? Let's let's hop over to our zones. Classes need to be five by five. So if I were to put some classes here, one, two. Let's uh, hop back over to the walls. One, two, three, four, five. This would be the minimum. I'm gonna probably give it an extra couple squares though. One, two, three. Can I just uh, pop a zone in there first? My guys are working quite slowly. Five by five. All right. Let's do um. Let's do a seven by seven. Right there. We'll put all our classes like right here. Perfect. Alright. Let's get them walled in. And then we'll get some doors in there. You can rotate the doors. I mean, this is... I mean, so far you can see this is identical to Prison Architect. Uh, just not polished. Not that Prison Architect is fully polished. It's It still has its flaws long after release, but uh, but good enough. Um, uh, let's, let's put the doors... Up here, I guess. There we go. These guys aren't working very quickly. I feel like they've slowed down since I last played a couple days ago. Um, let's speed this up. Get to work, guys. Alright, we're gonna want to put ourselves a canteen, a cafeteria, sorry. Let's put a let's put a walkway here, a hallway. There we go. And the canteen will be right there. That way it's quick access for everybody. Zone, cafeteria. I keep calling it a canteen. Let's go with um, 20 by 10. Let's put a wall around it. Did I get that right? Actually, you know what? I think I'm going to make it nice and symmetrical here. Perfect. Can we do double doors? Sure, why not? Looks good. These guys aren't... What the hell? I don't know how they prioritize it. Again, this is early access. It's quite early. Don't know how things are prioritized. Game is awfully weird without music. I'm definitely going to have to add in music in editing so it's not completely awkward. Alright, so... What is our to-do list now? Build a freshman classroom. We're going to have that uh, momentarily. Build a kitchen. We're going to have that up here. Assign a teacher. Build a cafeteria and hire cooks. All right. So I think what I'm going to do then... Go to zones. Get me a kitchen. Kitchen needs to be 4x4. Four four. So let's... um, Let's go 5. 
Something like that. Oops. There we go. Sure, why not? And we want a staff door. I'm not sure where I want to put that staff door yet. These guys are quite slow. It's evening time. They're all going home. All right, fantastic. Objects. What just happened there? Oh, the day. 6 a.m. Day number two. Negative 250 cash flow. I got no cash coming in. Let's uh, let's maybe get ourselves a room completed. So we have no uh, office classroom. We need a chalkboard. We need. If we hover over there, there we go. Chalkboard. 10 student chairs. I think they raised that. I think it was 8. Or is that... I wonder if that has to do with the size of the room. I don't know. Office table, chair. Alright. Student chair takes up one tile. And the table takes up two tiles plus a standing area. Chalkboard. There you go. And then the regular chair. How do I want to do this? Yeah, I think that'll work. Can I put these guys right across here? There you go. Chalkboard. Let's reverse that. Let's put it over here in the corner, maybe? Let's put it over here. Bam. Put a table, like, right here. And a chair. Got myself a room. Let's get, um, let's get a floor in here. Right? I didn't finish this. In fact, I didn't do that here either. Cafeteria, we got the walls built. My guy's stuck in there, of course. Uh, I'll get him out there quickly. I'm gonna put concrete in here as well, I think. And then we'll put kitchen zone up here. Fantastic, let's get our cafeteria laid out so I know where to put the doors in the kitchen. Um, cafeteria. Canteen table. Because these guys are the biggest. Oh, middle mouse will change. Okay, you guys going a little crazy over here. Um, that'll work. Right? Lots of room to, to move around. Fantastic. Food counter. I guess I could probably do this. And that and we have a plate counter too so that means I could probably just put the regular staff door um, let's put one here and one here now my guys can get out too funny they need trash as well where's the where's the trash at just like prison architect these guys produce trash um I know that they hide it somewhere though oh there's windows now and a water fountain Holy cow, these weren't in the game when I last played. Hell yeah. I don't know where I'm going to put them. My hallways look a little small for these. I should have made them a little wider. Water. Filtered for your health. Lovely. Um, lockers? Oh, oh. Oh, it's the next day. Wow, they've added so much since I last played. A dumpster. There's the trash cans. Um, all right. Let's go in here. Drop me a couple of these bad boys. Um, put one there and one there. I feel like I should probably have one, like, right here as well. There we go. So the little filthy animals. Why does it say it's not indoors? Hold on. I didn't have this problem before. Why is it not indoors? Does this need to happen? Maybe it does. And let's put doors in the front. Cool. There we go. We got ourselves a classroom. Beautiful. Uh, let's get me a staff member. Uh, did a teacher. We got lots of teachers to choose from. They're ranked by medals. One, two, and three. That's going to change the price. This guy is $6,000. Sunny bonus, $500 per day. And they're good at all the things. I think it might be best... If they were, I don't know, I'm hoping down the line that people would specialize in certain subjects, right? And then you'll have to get yourself a, a math teacher. Like this guy, I can just put her anywhere. I think it would be more challenging to have to find someone who's good at math and make room for them on your payroll. Um, look how bad this guy is. Holy cow. 
But he's cheap! I'm gonna go with two. It's, a. Uh... Oh, man. Vito Navas! You are hired, sir. There's your classroom. Bam! Great. Um, let's get a janitor out here. I don't need a nurse quite yet. We'll, we'll deal with that next episode. Cafeteria is still not indoors? Hold on. Is it because of this and that, maybe? I don't know. Could be. It still says not indoors. How about right there? I don't know if that's preventing me from closing it down. Uh-oh, I might have a problem. Because it looks indoors to me. All right, let's look work on the kitchen while I uh, think about that. All right, just like just like the canteens in Prison Architect, man. You got kitchen sinks. Look at kitchen sink even looks pretty damn close to the same thing. Um, I don't know if there's any kind of strategy of placement here, but in Prison Architect, I'd like to put the sinks near the doors because that's where all the trays go, and it's just quicker to access them there. Um, refrigerators. Um, again, just like in PA, let's, um, let's do that. I put those in the back. That's got the food in it. And the stoves. There we go. Next day. That's enough stoves. All right. I don't need to place anything more, I don't think. And I'm still, I'm still not indoors here. I don't know why. Because that looks pretty closed off to me. There we go. Putting in all my goodies. Yeah. I don't know what's up with that. Um, this is going to be my staff area over here once once we get that done. Um, I suppose I can close that off. There we go. And probably should put a door in there just so they don't get confused. Put a staff door, like, right here and right here. I don't want them to get confused and stuck. Fantastic! You're still indoors? Even the kitchen! Or, I'm sorry, outdoors? Even the kitchen says indoors. This is outdoors. I don't see it. Why does it say it's outdoors? The classroom doesn't. How about... Alright. Layout. Let's, uh... Or zones. I'm gonna go... To faculty, which has to be five by five, but um, it can be a little larger than that. Um, we'll go seven by five, faculty room. That needs a table, chair, file cabinets, and it needs to be indoors. So let's bring up. Is it office? Yeah. Put this bad boy here. File cabinet again. Feels an awful lot like Prison Architect, doesn't it? My guys are trapped. Hold on. You jerks. Um, we'll put a regular door there. And what else do I need over here? Nothing? Wait a minute. Didn't I need one more thing? But you notice it's it's not saying that it's outdoors. What am I what am I missing over here? I don't know. We definitely need that for, for our students, though. They'll come in and they won't be able to eat, and then they get all pissy. I don't know what that guy's doing. Is he cleaning the... I think he's cleaning. I don't know if there's a way to look at what he's doing. Like he can in Prison Architect. All I can do is fire him. Oh, there he goes. He's going to go chill in there. I thought I needed something else in the faculty room. I guess not. Okay, okay. Oh, I think I know what I did wrong. And this was a problem in Prison Architect too. I have the I have the zone going into the wall. So let's um let's edit zone, remove it. Now place a new zone, but don't do it in the walls. There you go. Alright. Yeah, that was um a problem for a while in, in Prison Architect 2. See, if you go into the wall here, it's going to count this as the zone being outside. So that's that's something that they'll eventually need to, to fix. 
Cool. I got a, I got a functioning cafeteria. Let's bring on some students before I close the episode out. How many do I need? Probably 15. One, two, three, four, five, six. I got 18 seats. All right, we'll do 15. Cool. Um, I want to see what other objects they got in here. That's that's new. Oh. Fans? I don't remember fans being in here. I have a fax machine. I think that was there. Pot of plants. A plate counter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Medicine cabinet. Yeah, that was there. Lockers, I think, are new. I don't know what I'm going to do with lockers. But I feel like lockers need to be in a four-wide hall, right? So I don't know what I'm going to do about that. Maybe, maybe put it out here? I don't know. Um, urinals, yep, those were there. Tables, I don't know what you need a table for. We got windows, too. Does a window make people happier? I don't know. Put a window there. And a water fountain. Where is the trash bin? I want to put a trash bin inside here. Um, there we go. Because trust me, I didn't put trash bins in my first playthrough, and the kids trashed my school in no time at all, man. No time at all. There we go. We got trash everywhere now. That will help. Oh, cooks. I need cooks. Can't do anything without cooks. We need three of them to get the to-do list done. You can now start the school year. Basic education completed. Hell yeah, to-do list is done. Now that unlocks all these different grants. And again, each one of these grants kind of helps you expand the the school a little bit. Toilet training, this lets you this shows this gives you money for completing a bathroom, things like that. Um, I do want to start the school year. And did I need a uh... What's this? Key? Hockeys. Oh, okay. We didn't have hockeys before. Are my kids going to come in in the morning? I don't remember how this works. Start school year. We're doing it. Bring him in here. Here's my janitor. What time does school begin? There isn't an itinerary or a... There we go. Oh no, that's just... Delivery. Where are the actual kids? Is that... Nope, those are the cooks. Oh, there the kids are. Straight to the cafeteria. Let's pause this. We have Chaz Fox. Uh, Jame Nolf. Lovely. Rudolph Went. Here we go. Health, discipline, food, fun, energy, bladder, hygiene. Again, you can see a lot of parallels to Prison Architect, right? Freshman, classroom run, he's hanging out. Subjects, blah, blah, blah. And I'm sure they'll have some kind of graduation rate. Just like a prison architect has some kind of um, um, rate on on them coming back to the prison. Oh my god, mind blank. You know what I mean, though. All right, let's play this out again. Get these guys over into the classroom. There we go. They're all going to go learn. Wait a minute. One, two, three, four, five, six. How come I have... I only asked for 15 kids, but I got more than that. Okay. Well, whatever. Not sure what, what happened there. So they're all learning now. And was that language? Is that the subject they were learning? I guess so. Sweet. I don't know what that... What was that? I think that might... Was that a bathroom? Oh, no! This didn't happen in my first playthrough. I wonder if that was recently added. Although, I think I built a, a, a bathroom pretty early on in my last playthrough, so that, that might be why. They're just they're just relieving themselves in the bush. All right, I'm going to pause it here. Next episode, we're going to have to build a bathroom pretty, pretty quickly because they're pissing all over the place. It's crazy. That's Academia, guys. You can get it on Steam today in early access. It's a, a Prison Architect clone so far. If you like Prison Architect, then I guess give this a shot. Um, hopefully the dev has plans to differentiate it from Prison Architect. That would be my main concern here. Um, otherwise, I would just play Prison Architect, right? Even though the game 
is is buggy prison architect is it's got plenty of systems in place that that most of them work well together and it's a more complete game and, and hopefully this game will be able to differentiate itself um there you go academia thanks for watching we'll see you next time bye bye